This video will demonstrate how to use laser designation with a close air support asset. In this scenario, a convoy is spotted a T-62 across the field. The convoy halts and the GTAC begins to request for air support from an A-10 flying overhead. The GTAC has determined that the target will need to be hit with a GBU-12. However, to reduce possibility of collateral damage, the attack will need to come from the south to avoid splashing the buildings nearby. Let's start the mission. First, in MACE, select the JTAC as the currently selected platform. Ensure that the displays are locked to the JTAC by checking this icon in the View tab. If needed, and not done before starting the mission, check the Visual tab under Settings and make certain that you have your visual channels configured to your liking. For this example, I'm only using the Versic Visual Own Chip viewpoint. Also, make certain the HUD is enabled and at the desired render distance. Use the gamepad to move the JTAC around. One stick is used for movement, the other for looking. Get the JTAC in a good position and press the left bumper button to activate the binoculars. Use the stick with the look axis to line up the target on the crosshairs. Press button 4 to cycle through your loadout and select laser designator. Press the right bumper to fire it. Now that we are set up, it's time to start using our 9-line. Go to the ND tab on MACE and select 9-line form. Choose the A-10 as the shooter and the T-62 as the target. To avoid terrain, let's give the A-10 an egress heading of 315. We'll make the final heading 015 and select a level attack with a final leg distance of 5 nautical miles. Since we need the attack now, we will have him push when ready. Select the laser guide and ordnance, otherwise the shooter will accurately engage the target without the JTAC. I'm choosing a GPU-12. Everything looks good, so let's attack without IP. Once he's on his final heading, I'll clear him in hot. Press the lower right bumper on the gamepad to begin lasing the target. But then you get intel that the T-62 is actually a derelict, and there is a RCIED team ambush waiting in the trees north of the tank. While the bomb is in flight, you can redesignate that tree line. The weapon impacts in the tree line where the enemy was hiding. Depending on your accuracy, you may see some of the enemy running from the tree line. 